when I was first designing this course, I did a survey of over 100 machine learning researchers and applied machine learning experts at Google. And one of the questions I asked them was, what is the one thing that you most want people to learn about machine learning? And overwhelmingly, the favorite answer was validation, the real one, not the one they think they're doing, as in not debugging. I think there was one comment that was like, teach them to validate or get out of machine learning. So I figured, why don't I step up how visceral I make my analogy and talk about the game of Russian roulette. You know that game where you put the bullet in, spin it, close it, and clump. Now you have the option, if I force you to play Russian roulette, you have the option to either play traditional Russian roulette, that one, or you may play Russian roulette with validation. How does that work? Starts the same way, in goes the bullet, spin, close. But just before you pull the trigger, you open it back up, you see if the bullet is the next one ready to go. And if it is, you spin it again. Which do you prefer? With validation or without validation? I have a strong preference. I strongly prefer with validation. Then I say to my Google colleagues, if they do machine learning around here without validation, they are playing traditional Russian roulette with my stock portfolio. <laughs> friends don't do that to friends. <laughs> do real validation, people. So, skipping validation. Let's see. If you skip both validation and testing, the result is that you will launch some poisonous rubbish. That is bad, bad, very bad, don't do that. If you only skip validation, and you do have testing, unless you are solving a really easy problem, and your first solution just so happens to be a great solution, all you will find out is that it doesn't work, you have no more ability to do any more refinement, pens down, no machine learning for you, so you end up going home empty-handed. That's a bit sad. It would be great if we could instead use machine learning for awesome things and actually get something out of it. So stay safe, don't skip validation. Key message, validation is all about checking if your model succeeds on a new data set. It protects you from the monster. And make sure you only view the final metric. If you're going and looking inside, that is debugging. And then you should worry about what it means if your project doesn't have a validation step. So step eight is finished. You have your best candidate model and you've evaluated how we do in fresh data and whether to start again.